What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm coming to you right now to inspire you. I don't care what's going on. I don't care where you're at. I don't care what you're up against. I know we're all quarantined. I know we're all going through it. But even in the midst of what's happening in the world today, man, I want to see you be positive, all right? Be positive. Have a positive mindset no matter what because life is going to get better. I don't know what you're facing or what, or, or what you're up against, but life is going to get better. But you have to believe it, man. Keep going, man. In this game and in life, you're going to be great. So after years of playing on the exact same input, you know, and grinding to get your muscle memory tuned into Legacy, Epic Games did the unthinkable. You know, hundreds and thousands of, you know, players that, that, that play on console and controller are struggling with their aim, just like you. Did you know that? So on this video today, man, we're gonna be giving you guys some pro tips to take your aim to the next level. So here's the deal. You gotta watch the entire video, okay? Tune in to the very end so you can maximize your skills, guys. All right? Also, if you wanna learn how to play exactly like the pro players, check out ProGuides.com, where we have the best coaches in the world. Sign up for our membership today and get exclusive access to master courses by players like Benji and Mongrel. If you want to go more in depth and explore all the different aspects of competitive gameplay that you need to know in order to succeed, head on over to ProGuide's website and be sure to sign up and start improving rapidly today. All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen around the world, listen, it's time to get hype right now. I need you to help me say this out loud. Here we go. You ready? It's time to sit back, come on, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. I think I'm running out. Oh. oh. It's that bunch of crunch. Let's get this going. Okay, so the first major thing that many people underestimate is lowering dead zone. You know, many of you guys, you know, look up tons of videos of the best settings and dead zones. But the problem is, is that some of you guys actually believe people when they tell you to set your dead zones high. So the way dead zones work is by deactivating a whole section of your analog stick from working. What this basically means is that you're aiming less accurately. You know, after being used for months and even years for some, man, you know, controllers begin running into issues. You know, some of these issues have to do with the controller analog stick. What this does is it actually causes your analog stick to cause your aim and turn without you even touching your controller. In order to fix this problem, Epic Games added an in-game dead zone setting that allows players to toggle and set specific dead zones for their controller. This is a very useful feature, you know, for all the players that suffer from analog stick drift. But if it's uh, set highly without need, it's hurting your aim, guys. So how do you decrease dead zone drift? Good question. All right, so let's just say that you guys find problems with your controller where your aim is automatically turning. What you need to do is increase your right analog stick dead zone by about one or two and just go back in game, then check to see if it's still moving. Continue doing this until there's no more movement and there you have it. So the smallest value you set your dead zone, the more reactive and accurate your aim will become because you're gonna have more control over your aim. So be sure to do this as soon as possible. So dead zones help a ton with decreasing bloom and helping your aim, right? But what about the mechanics of your aiming? So the next trick will help you with just that, all right? But it may seem a little weird because, you know, what we're going to say is going to seem like we're talking about legacy, but we'll explain why it works in just a second. So just hold on, okay? So before, you know, taking shots, start using your left trigger or L2 to zoom, right? Before the removal of legacy, you know, this allowed controller players to receive a heap of aim assists that would lock onto opponents. Although this doesn't work the same with exponential, you know, linear, it offers something that is very underrated, and that is blood reduction and more accurate shots. So if we take a second and just look at every other competitive game in the entire world, all right, almost every single one has had, you know, an ADS function. Most of these games don't have lock on aim assist, but you know, what they do offer is tighter bloom, you know, more closed in view on your aim and just a much more for accurate shots. The reason you guys have to start using your ADS is because it's gonna tighten the bloom on all of the weapons. Whether you're using an AR, you know, a shotgun, or really any other gun in the game, it will evolve the way you hit your shots. 
So how do you do this effectively? All right guys, so you gotta start by tracking your opponents and getting ready to fire. Half a second before you start shooting, hold down your left trigger and then begin to take shots. So we guarantee this is gonna bring you guys way more accurate shots as well as you know give you guys much easier control. You know in settings, you have the option to reduce your ADS sensitivity and just make it slower than your normal X and Y. This is so that you can have you know better aim control when holding the trigger down. And it's one of those things, man, that just really makes this trick so effective. You know, effectiveness is not only affected by your raw mechanics, though. You know, a lot of this, you know, actually relies on fine aiming. You know, and most of you already know, all right, your aiming is based on where your reticle is placed, right? The reticle is like the center market that shows you where you're aiming and the amount of bloom you have to every point in time. You know, many players have tendencies to pre-fire and, you know, mistime their shots before, you know, their reticle is actually on their opponents. Have you done that? I've done that. Okay, so almost everybody is definitely guilty of doing this at some point. You know, anytime you fired your weapon and you've completely missed your shot, you've made a mistake. So how do you fix it? That is the question, right? You know, aiming is the skill of moving and placing your reticle correctly on a target. You know, when fighting an opponent, your main focus should always be on looking at the reticle and lining it up perfectly with your opponent. The problem here is, is like, you know, with this is that, you know, Fortnite is a game that has three different mechanics that you have to focus on while playing. Essentially, you know, diverting your attention, right? Not only do you have to have aim, but you also have to build and you also have to edit. And both of these, you know, do not require the same accuracy as aiming. In fact, I mean, to be real, like by building and editing, you're getting used to lazy aim because you're basically given a much larger error margin where you could be sloppy, you know, with your turning and accuracy. But you'll still get the building or editing outcome you want. To fix this issue, you must start focusing on your aim more than anything, yo. Like stop overbuilding, focus on getting as many shots as possible off, man, and limit the amount of time you spend in build and edit mode. Then put your focus on lining up your shots with the center of the opponent's body. Enemy players will always be moving around and just making it harder for you to actually shoot them. <laughs> what you need to do is always focus on getting that reticle in the direction midline in the opponent. This gives you, you know, lots of leeway in case the opponent does a hard strafe or you just mistime your shot. All right, so speaking of mistiming your shot, the next trick is gonna make you guys way more consistent. All right, so in a game like Fortnite, there are multiple effective ways to aim. Many of the top creative warriors and fast controller editors are the same ones who tend to stick, you know, to flick shots and just very rapid aiming. These players, you know, they have a tendency to not be aiming near their opponents and then just like flicking almost instantly <laughs> right before the shot. You know, although this isn't necessarily a horrible way to aim, it's not the best. And, you know, it does introduce a lot of issues that players run into without even realizing it. You know, aiming is a very muscle memory, you know, based act. You need to be able to do it naturally, man, and, you know, in order to just be consistent. And flick aiming is just much harder to do on a controller than it is on keyboard and mouse. So what is the solution? All right, let me tell you this. The solution to fixing this flick-based habit, you need to start practicing tracking. Tracking is keeping your aim as close as possible, if not directly on to your opponent. Tracking is extremely effective as it, you know, really decreases the amount of time it's gonna take for you to line up your shot and actually fire. But tracking is advanced and it doesn't just stop there, man. You know, besides just tracking while you see them, you can also track them while they're unable to be shot. Meaning, you know, if they're building or hiding behind a corner, keep your aim close to the general area just to be ready to fire as soon as necessary. This will evolve, you know, the way you play and it'll make a very significant impact in the accuracy of your shots. Trust me. All right, so one of the main benefits of tracking is, you know, it's also less nerve wracking, man. You know, you won't be panicked to make high velocity, you know, quick, responsive movements. And you could just instead take your time and just use that extra second just to get your shot lined up and get even more accurate. Since we're on the topic of nerve wracking, this next tip is going to help you guys get through that, you know, those little anxious moments, you know? You know, oftentimes a huge confusion that really comes up for console and controller players is that aiming is done completely with just the right analog stick. But believe it or not, guys, the majority of the fine aiming that, you know, pro controllers really do make, it's done with their left analog stick, aka their movement. Yes, you know, they use their right analog stick to turn and, you know, get those close aim, you know, to their opponent, I get it, but they do utilize their movement in order to just get the aiming that we all want. 
So, you know, how many times have you had a shotgun shot to the head for only 50 damage? This is because you're not hitting your pellets. And the reason you're not hitting your pellets is because you're not fine tuning your aim to, you know, maximize the damage output. Sure, you know, your eye stick is the majority of your aim, but what about the small minority? The minority is what the majority of players lack. And really it's like the reason that, you know, some are on top of others when it comes to aim. Okay, so what you guys need to start doing is just using your movement to your advantage when aiming. You know, the way you do this effectively, man, is really just by coordinating with your right analog stick and using your movement to really line up the shot more accurately. So your reticle may be placed on the player, right? But like we mentioned before, it needs to be as close to the midline as possible. Instead of just trying to lower your sensitivity or, you know, use it in a way that specific sensitivity can't be used, take advantage of the 360 degree movement, you know, that controllers offer. Almost every top player is gonna use their movement to finalize their aim and maximize the accuracy of many shots that they take this isn't always effective especially you know if you're you know mid jump or you're in a fight where you need to take a flick shot but if you utilize everything that we told you in this video guys trust me trust me trust your guy your motivation guy you know when it comes to like tracking and really focusing on midline using your movement is going to be an overpowered trick that's going to give you guys the edge in almost every fight Okay, so now you can use all the mentality tips and tricks that you want, but you can never truly improve your aim unless you put in that cold, hard practice. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to grind. And I mean, like, we got to grind, dude. We really do. You know, you've almost definitely heard keyboard and mouse players talking about Kovacs, you know, many other, uh, you know, aim trainers. Yes, Kovacs isn't available to controller players. I get it. But in our opinion, that's for the better. Controller players have the luxury of using some of the best creative aim maps created to practice their aim. So what's great about this is that you get a chance to really practice your aim with the exact aiming mechanics and aim assist that you're going to be using in your games. And guys, please don't sleep on that important aim training, please. Many console and controller players are gonna skip out on aim training and they're not gonna do it. Instead, they're just gonna go straight into their games and just keep playing until their aim is more warmed up. But by practicing and just training your aim accuracy, you know, you're not only gonna be warming up your aim, but you're also gonna be bettering it, man. You're gonna be taking it to the next level. So be sure to check out our best warm up maps videos, man, and use the codes in that video to train your aim and get the practice you need to get on top. But just so you guys have a map, here's an excellent aim training map for controller players. That's gonna help you guys out tremendously. All right, check it out. Some of the trainers don't have aim assist, which will make your aim even more accurate when you get into the game and start playing. All right, so it's 6056-6077-9955. All right, guys, so to summarize the main points of this video, aiming is incredibly important. I hope you got that. <laughs> if you get anything from this video, you gotta get that. You must practice it and you must spend time using the tricks that we mentioned in this video, like every day, all right? By by practicing them and just really re-watching this to just remind yourself of what you need to do, it's gonna become so instinctive to you guys and you're no longer gonna have to even think about it. It's just gonna be natural. You know, making you a dangerous player. So be sure to train your aim daily, guys. Trust me, using the aiming code that we provided and don't stop working on your aim. Keep up the grind, man. Keep going, don't quit, keep persevering because I believe in you and you can do it. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend. That's right, I'm your friend, I really am. The one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at Your Motivation Guy. I want to inspire you, man, to be great, not only in this game. Like, this game is cool, but I want you to also be great in life, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys thought and what you guys would like to see next because we strive to bring you guys daily quality content, man. So do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love by using code ProGuys in the item shop. All right, we'll see you next time. Peace.